Do you feel that the music industry has lost its creativity and it's more about the packaged product and selling records? Um, I feel like, in a sense, yes, it has lost its creativity. Um, but there are certain artists that are still creative. I mean, you have the John Legends, you have the the Justin Timberlakes that are not afraid to, or Christina Aguilera's that really are great singers and that are great songwriters. Yourself. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, and that are not afraid to push the envelope and to set the trends. And, you know, of course, it's not anything new. It's something that's always been around. It's something that was around in the 60s. There are the people that are just basically machines and do what everyone tells them to do. Um, but it was interesting for me to play someone during that time in the 60s and to see it was even harder back then because it wasn't any black artists that crossed over and the Dream Girls were one of the first. And um, because of the groups like Supremes and like Aretha Franklin, now groups like Destiny's Child and artists like myself are able to perform all over the world and people not look at their skin, they're just listening to good music. 